This conference will now be recorded. Okay, I'll open the Photoshop. So I made a folder here. The folder name is 3D. Okay, so we have 3D plans. Okay, so architectural designs we are going to learn in the Photoshop. How to learn architectural design. Okay, so we have 3D plans here. Okay, 3D house plans are here. Okay, we have 3D different different plans are there. Means in the top view, I have taken the top view of image. Here where we have to place the images. For example, we have the living room here. This is the drawing room. Okay, so this is the drawing room. And here the this is the kitchen area. And the, this is the master bedroom area. And the balcony. Okay, and the toilet here is here. And one more bedroom is here. Okay, everybody can see it, right? Yes, ma'am. One yes, person ma should answer. Everybody can see, right? What I'm showing? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, what I will do, I want my drawing into the new file. Okay. But first, I will take the my new drawing. Okay. New measurement file into the new file. So, what I will take A4 size. I will take A4 size only with the different measurements. Like, I'll make it 210 by so 297 I will type it here and 210 here because it is in a horizontal way. Now I want it like this. Okay. My drawings are like this. So that's why I am taking in a before it is A4 is in a vertical way. Now it is in a horizontal way. Okay. So what I will do? I want to take the drawing. Okay. So I will go to file open. If I take file open, what happens? I will take like this. See. It will come like this only. It's a new file. Okay. I don't want it in a new file. Okay. I will go to here. File. Place. Okay. I want to place my drawing uh, in the inside this A4 size. Okay. I will go to here. File. Place. And I will take uh, whatever the drawings uh, we have here. Okay. So, I will go to here. Architectural design. Little easy drawing. So, you can easily undo it this one. Okay, see my drawing is here. Okay, I'll just shift and alt, you know already, control T. I'll just increase the size of this. Okay, so it should not change like that. Okay, slowly you should increase the size. Okay, so now you can see the drawing. Okay, so like this, what you have to do? Now look at here. What are the things are there in this drawing? See, this is the kitchen area. Can you see here? L-shaped kitchen is here. And the bedroom is here. And the this is the living room. Okay, living room. So this is the thing you people are going to do in the AutoCAD and the 3ds Max. So the same thing we can do it in the Photoshop also. Okay, so it is possible. So we will do... just i just do it like this so what i do these are the main walls okay these are the main walls can you see here these are the main walls okay these are the main walls and these are the walls which are dividing from one place to another place so kitchen to living room this is the wall which is separating okay and these are the doors okay these are the doors this is uh, this kind of a uh, shape you can see right these are the doors Okay, so these are the doors. So what I will do, I will go to here. Uh, you All the tools are already finished for, for you people. So everything you know already. So for you people, it is very easy. So I will go to here. Magic wand tool. Okay, you can select any of this thing. Quick selection tool or magic wand tool. I will select this magic wand tool. I will select this wall. See now what happened. All the walls are selected. Okay. You have to do this assignment. See all the walls are selected. See these are the main walls. What are selecting? Those are the main walls. Okay. So what I will do? I will separate it. This one. Otherwise I can do it in this layer only. No problem. Otherwise you can uh, add it to different layer. Control J. Okay. Separate Control J also you can do it. Otherwise see I want to. Select this wall also. I will shift and I will add this wall. And we have this wall. 
and look at here i have this was slowly you should do this work see slowly zoom it and check where is the wall okay check everything where is the wall so this is not the wall this is the window and this is the main door okay see this is the washroom and we have to select this wall okay i have selected this wall and this is also wall okay this is also wall in between there is a door will come okay so this is the wall again this is okay this is selected already okay so just check uh, these are the areas uh, these are the uh, which are thick those are the main walls and this is the sub walls okay everybody getting right so if i want to place it in this only i can keep it no problem otherwise i'll place it to the different layer control j so you people know already control j so what i will do right click on this blending options so blending option also it is over okay so i will give drop shadow okay one second Just I'll kick it normal. Control J. Just no need to give so much. So just only very lightly. I'll just make it normal. I'll just opacity is uh, only this much. Okay, high opacity I'll give. Only this much only should give okay before that we will add the color for this okay just uh, we will add uh, some brownish color wall okay so some of the dark color any color we will add it so just add the color for this okay i have added the color for this okay using the paint bucket tool you can add the color so you people know how to add the color also so what i will do see these are my main walls which are highlighting right so i'll go to here right click on this blending options there is an option called drop shadow okay so here slowly no need to add any other effects only you have to make the wall okay very light 21 i have given just give okay no need to add other blending options and all see we are seeing. we are looking from the top view now whatever the house model we are seeing we are looking from the top view okay so now what I will do, I have already cutted some of the images. So I, we cannot do with the 3D kind of things. So but I have cutted already some of the images. So I have made a folder and I have kept it here. So what I will do, I will go to this, this one. Uh, I have taken this bedroom image. So I will go to here and just close this file. So look at here, control T and so the same thing you people are going to do in the 3d okay this is the 2d so this background you don't want this background you can place the carpet or something here okay you can place the carpet here no problem otherwise we'll add the floor no problem okay i will add all these things now and again i will go to here file open so I want first I will add all these things finally I will put the floor okay so but why because I want to see where and all placed properly or not in living room where the sofa has to be uh, placed all these things in the final I will place the floor okay so what I will do I will go to here file open otherwise you can you can make it like this also file place you can go to place if you give file place means it will come directly into this file okay i can take any of this thing see it has come now so what i will do control t so before that what you people have to do you have to remove the background okay so here which is we having the white color 
background is there so what i will do i'll go to this magic eraser tool and just remove it so control t just make it small little okay we have to match according to this okay so in the 2d we are creating the 3d designs okay so like this extra tables and all you can add it okay so again next to file place okay everybody should note all these options file place so we have uh, this uh, tv cabinet is there so i'll go to here we don't have tv cabinet here still i'm going to place here okay so this is very important for you people again i'll zoom it then i will go to this magic eraser tool so you people know already so if something like this image you are not able to cut means you just give okay just you remove it otherwise you have to neatly you have to cut it like this okay like this take this shape and move it to the other file control j then only this much so otherwise you can you know you people know eraser tool and all so slowly you can do it only this is the cabinet tv cabinet okay so living room anything you can place it okay so now this is the living this is the house model we are seeing from the top view okay anybody having any doubt all are there in the class this is very important class okay now what i'll do again i'll go to file place so i have this kitchen model so i'll go to here kitchen model i'll just place the same thing in 3dx max uh, we have to create it in a 3d so okay any of the colorful kitchen you people will get you can place it no problem okay so just how much ever you don't want means you can remove it that part okay so i want only this much area means you can select it only this much area and add to selection you people already know so this much area only i want it so i'll just take it in a different layer so only i want this much only okay see so this is my kitchen area okay so almost done everything so what we'll do again i will go to file place and i have downloaded this okay so again i have to remove the background of this just you okay then it is removed okay so easy for you people okay here it is easy in photoshop but not in 3dx max or any other software okay okay according to that place you have to make it okay how much ever uh, here we have indian toilet we have to place those things also uh, i have downloaded this many images now i'll place the floor so I'll, I'll go to here file place i have this kind of floors we have for outdoor i have this floor design any of the things we can place it i'll just um, take this wooden flooring okay so let me check how much we can do it control t so this should be on the back side of down side of this okay so here it should go down be like this everybody can see this right see so this much is my wooden flooring so you can make it like how much ever tiles you want hmm? how much now it is looking very big big woodens wooden tiles and all 
so you can take uh, you can take a copy of this and you can make some other wooden tails and all so i will take the duplicate copy of this okay so you can place it here also like this also like this also you can place it no problem okay So later window wherever you want you can place it over there. So again let me check what kind of tails I have. I have this is I'll place it for the outdoor. Okay. So let me check where is our outdoor area. This is the okay. So this is the outdoor area. So we can place it here. Okay. So we can place it here. I will take the duplicate copy of this. Okay. In the layer, you can make the duplicate copy of this. And you can place it here also. This is the wash area. You can place it here also. Okay. So, wherever extra area you have, you can place it. These stones and all. Okay. For outside. Okay. So like this, what you have to do, you have to create a designs like this. Let me check what else we can do it. Yeah, we have one more floor design. This also we can take it. Yeah. This is also you can place it wherever you want. You want a different floor design means. You can place it here. Okay. Suppose we don't want this many squares means what you have to do. You have to keep on uh, alt and left click. You have to take the duplicate copy of this. Alt and left click. Otherwise right click on the layer and you have to duplicate of this layer. Okay. Alt and left click. You have to duplicate of this layer. Neatly you should do. Okay. You should do. Only people have to do this. Otherwise, uh, you can add the wooden tails only. For here also, you can add the wooden tails. No problem. Okay. Whether it is not matching means you can add the wooden tails. Okay. So, here we have the wooden tails. The full house, you can add this only. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to take it up. Okay, so like this, you have to add it here. Okay, so yeah, like this, like this. So you need to careful about the gaps and all. Okay, so just we will add some of the things like this otherwise you can make a turn like this so like this you have to you can turn it like this and control t you can turn it like see all the basic tools are over so now you have to uh, with the 2d software photoshop how to make the 3d design okay so like this only control t so, everybody is getting right what I am doing. Okay, slowly yes, you have to. Okay, all are there in the class, right? Yeah, see like this, you have to make it. any simple tiles also you can add it, no problem. Any simple tiles also you can add it. Otherwise, any of the... Uh, this thing also you can add it no problem so i have given the wooden tiles you can add uh, different different rooms different tiles for this kitchen we can add a different tiles no problem see i have placed this stone uh, that we can add it no problem for that see for the kitchen we can add it add this one see for different different things we can add uh, different different tiles okay slowly you should do this work okay it will be useful for next to what you people are learning knows for that it is useful okay yeah like this you can add the design like this 
uh, one more washroom we have so for that also you can add it okay so like that we have to place something like any wash basin already i have cut it this image so i will keep it this one see here it should be on the top of all the layers okay i will keep it like this then magic eraser tool just you okay just oh yes it is slowly we have to cut this because what is the problem with the white background okay so that's why we have to cut it slowly okay so neatly we should cut so i will cut it like this slowly so you have to place it okay so according to the measurement we will do it in 3d okay so like this control d so wherever you want you can place it in the washroom okay so they have a measurements they given already so very small we should make it control t just uh, reduce the size of this okay yeah okay so this is a 3d thing otherwise uh, we want any of this uh, any of the designs any of the floorings you want so you can change the flooring any of the this this kind of simple flooring mosaic flooring any of this thing also you can give it no problem otherwise uh, we have in photoshop only uh, suppose uh, we will have this box yeah suppose we have in the photoshop only i will take this box size like this like this and you people know already in the blending options we have i'll just give the any color See, like this plain floor also you can add it no problem otherwise in the blending options we have the styles in that we have a tiles option also there see like this kind of tiles okay so this is it don't look nice okay somewhere light color okay any kind of marble effects and all you can add it okay okay you have to try all these options Okay, blending options, styles. I'll just give this only. Okay, so like this for a different different missing area, you can add different kind of images. You can add it, no problem. Okay, just I'll take the copy of this only. So there's so many layers are there. See the tile size should be should become small means you have to take it like this you have to reduce the size of this then you have to take the copy of this see you have to take the copy of this then the tiles will reduce the size same thing here also uh, while uh, we are doing this you have to see way which layer it is yeah here also like this control t I'll just reduce the size of this. Yeah. I'll just take on the, yeah, we have to take the copy of this. So nobody having the taste like this, it will be small only. So we have to take the copy of this. Then we have to do it like this. Yeah, door area is there. So afterwards we have to add wherever we uh, door, wherever the windows are there. So those things and all we have to make it okay anybody having any doubt you can clear now itself yeah they ask me anybody having the doubt okay so you have to zoom it <coughs> how much ever area you want only that much area only you have to add the tiles okay control d 
I'll just reduce the tiles like this. See how much ever area you want. Alt and duplicate. Go Alt, left click. See, it will create so many layers. Okay, you can make a group of those things. Okay, you people know how to make the group. Okay. Yeah. Anybody having any doubt? I'll just take the duplicate copy of this. Always you should take the duplicate copy of this. Just I will add it here. This area I will, whichever, whichever the area I don't want, those areas I will, uh, uh, means uh, washroom I have given the different tails. For this area, I'll just cut this part. So you, you can select it, this much area and delete it. Okay. So here, any of the stones design because this is an outdoor area. So can add the stones designs and all. Okay. I'll just save the file. File save as on the desktop. I have made a folder in that only the 3D folder. <coughs> House model. Okay. Which is there in the top view. This is the top view. How the house will look. Okay. I'll save it in the PSD format. Even the stones are there that also we can reduce the size of this. Where is the stones? Yes. So I'll just take a copy of this. So you can make it small like this. This much only you can see it. Okay. I'll keep it like this only now. Even this kitchen also. Control T. I'll just reduce the size of this this much. And I'll keep it here. Then I'll press Alt. And this option. Then Alt this option. So that is your creativity, what kind of tails you are, have to use, what kind of designs you have to make. So all up to you people. Okay. So. The extra thing has come, I think. Okay, so like this, here we have to place the window and here we have to place the door. Okay, so wherever the partitions are there, so where there and all, we have to place different things. Okay, so this outdoors and all, we have to place it with the car parking area. So those things and all, we have to place it different, different. Okay, so now next I have to look it. So you people have to visualize like how if you... We will see the house in the top view. How it will look. Okay. You have to visualize the, uh, these things. Okay. Shift Alt. Now I will place the. Okay. In the top view. I will place the TV. Okay. So here. So I will go to here. Uh, magic eraser tool. Just Q. Okay. Yeah, it is removed it. So now I have to make according to this TV cabinet. I have to reduce the TV size. Okay. Everybody getting. Yeah. See, this is the TV cabinet. We have placed it. Okay. So like this only any flower pot, those things which are which we are getting from the top view. Okay. So those things only we can place it. And uh, one more thing. 
here. Yeah, which is this layer? Yeah, this is the layer. Okay. See, what is the problem is mainly we will get so many layers. So once you will start it, so that time only you have to group it. So you have to group it and you have to check. See, where is this layer? Now I want to find this here. So this is, it is saying layer 6 copy. Okay, it is saying layer 6 copy. No, it is not layer 6 copy. So it is saying not this also. Okay, so we have to search it like this. First half. Okay. Yeah, this is the background of this layer. So like this, we have to keep on checking everything. See, now this is the image 14. So I'll take the duplicate copy of this. Now I will place one more here. Okay. So like that, wherever you want, I think this is the wa uh, washroom area. So wherever we want, uh, we have to, we have to remove the floor and we have to check. We have to see it. Okay. So wherever it is there. So we have to check. Okay. So yeah. see, this is also if it is a washroom area. So we have to place this only again. So here it is looking everything is fine. Okay. But when you people are doing in the 3D, it is little difficult. Okay. So like that, you can add different, different floorings. Okay. So, how much ever you want, you can add it, no problem. I'll just take the duplicate copy of this. Yeah. Just place the stones here. Control P. I'll just make this reduce. Yeah. Anybody having any doubt? Okay, so I have given here bigger size of stone here. So you have to reduce the size of this uh, tails. You people are know right how the tails will come usually at house. So it nobody house will be not having this much big stones and all. So it will it should look only this much only like how you people have to see you can see from the top view. Okay like that so what else image i have okay i have different sofas are there so if you want you can place uh, some more sofas okay so if the quality of the image is good then you can place it otherwise uh, okay file place I think we have to take it to the top topper of this layer left click you have to left click you have to hold it and I'm taking in the topper way so again magic eraser tool just give okay I'm just removing it see you have to neatly you have to remove it so again you have to use the eraser tool otherwise uh, just go to polygonal tool it is easy actually you can cut wherever the area how much ever you want you don't want just select it like this and delete it okay yeah so this also you can if you want to may zoom it properly and just select it only this much area and just delete it okay so everybody know the basic thing so wherever you want you can add the other thing this is a, if it is a living room area is okay otherwise uh, okay we cannot place anywhere okay here also you cannot place it but you can do one thing so you i i want only this much area i don't want this much area okay control d just what you can just your creativity so just you have to select select this much area and just delete it So I'll do one thing. You can place it here on the room. Okay. So just I'll keep it here. Okay. So wherever you want, you can keep it. No problem. So in 3D, we can do many more things. Okay. We can place the swing. Everything we can make it. Okay. So you have to save the file. 
okay you have to save the file and the same you have to save it in a jpg format also okay you can save it in the jpg format also one second Control T. I'll just make it clear. Okay, this is one area, and this is one area. And if you want to, tiles, tiles should be like this. And yeah. Okay. the duplicate copy of this and I will add it here okay neatly you people should do this work tomorrow I want the assignment okay from you people same assignment I want it tomorrow okay so like this anybody having any doubt please clear all your doubts okay so this is the 3d things what we cre can create the same thing with the same measurements we can create it in the 3d x max software or autocad software okay so you will get uh, this kind of output okay so we'll just uh, reduce the stone sizes we have to make a group actually so we have to make separately as a group okay yeah this is the thing so here so it will become as one group now see control t so actually this will come only this much only so what i will do i will just everything i will remove it okay so this is the outside area yeah so everything is removed now so what i'll do i'll just make a group control g so inside this only i will make so many copies of this and it will come inside this only duplicate of this see everything it is coming inside the group one so now you cannot cannot see so many layers are happening okay i'm unable to see the layer properly so those things you don't have any problem with this okay yeah so like this you have to add the stones okay otherwise you can add different tiles also no problem like this you have to add it so it will not uh, it will take so much time to do it okay So this is an important option you people have to learn this okay patiently you have to work on this okay otherwise you can add the same tiles and all so this is the outdoor tile what i have added it is the outdoor tile so that's why i have given this okay so anybody having any uh, doubt i will go to the different topic before itself you can ask me anybody having any doubt while i am doing this only aishwarya anybody having any doubt yes ma'am yeah you have any doubt no doubt no, how to take the image aishwarya how to no. place the image uh, go to file and uh, take, uh, from the place you can collect an image and you can yeah. place it if you want okay. uh, see i have already uh, downloaded this possible. image okay okay aishwarya no problem see i made a 3d folder here inside that only i have my 3d plan with that whatever the tail options whatever the different design options we have to add it we can add it okay so file place if i have to place this carpet okay so this kind of designs and all we have to place it means 
we can add it so we have to make a group of this okay so we have to separately you have to make a group and we have to take the tails okay tails designs and all we have to take and this you can use it uh, as a somewhere here okay so wherever you want in between you can add it no problem so like this design you can add it okay otherwise uh, what we'll do i'll just take a copy of this and like this yeah wherever i want only this much area okay if you feel okay that is a design of the type something like that and the carpet and all we have to download it and we have to add it okay so i'll just i don't like it much this one i'll keep it like this only no problem anybody having any doubt shreya Fatima, anybody having any doubt? Anusha Lokesh, Maria Joshita, anybody having any doubt with this 3D model? Yeah, no problem. Ask me. See, you have to group it. See, now, uh, whatever the scene, uh, whatever the tails I have taken, this many things, you have to make a group. See, now everything is opened here. So, you have to keep on checking all the things and all. So, better, I'll shift it and make a group. See, now, whatever the area I have selected, see, this much area, which is under the group. It should come under the group itself. Okay. So, these are the things which are coming under the group. See, this is total this many so these are the black tails which are under the one single group okay so you have to take you have to download the 3d okay 3d sketches like this okay so in the internet you have to give uh, 3d house model from the top view 3d house models from the top view you have to take it from the top view so we have different different uh, these things are there and any of the things whatever i have taken here which are under the top views only okay all are with the top views okay anybody having any doubt anybody having any doubt see here wherever this carpet mats everything we can place it okay i'll just save it in save as in the format of jpg format okay so house model top view it will save it in the format of jpg format otherwise same tiles only you can add it for this also i have given different different tiles wooden tiles this block tiles stone tiles everything we can add it so we can do more better in the 3d software so what we are seeing everything it is completely 2d so in the 3d software 3dx max software we can completely view it inside we can go inside that and we can see like uh, how it is we can rotate the image and we can see like how width will be there height will be there and depth of the image everything we can see it in the 3d software okay now we can see like uh, usually how you can uh, how the house will look from the top view okay so everybody cleared with this point right okay everybody yeah tell me ma'am how should we make the doors doors and all we have to take the top view doors okay so top view if you watch any of the door okay so it will look like this only okay so it will look any of the windows anything in the from the top view how it will look so it will look like this only any of the colors you can give it no so just a brown color any of the colors how it will look it will look any of the any of the colors suppose this is my door color so like this only it will look 
otherwise in the blending options you can give uh, any of the styles anything you can give it no problem but from the top view it will look this much only correct when you see it from the front view or side view then you can see it easily find it yeah this is the door and all so only from the top view you can see this much only so they are showing here you can open it in this way this is a two double door uh, this is the main uh, main entrance and here we are placing uh, two doors here can you see here left and right okay so like that so here they are showing door we can open it from the inside okay so like that they are given the things like this in the 3d you can open it the door will open it from the inside like this this way but the door we have to make one box only we have we can show it in the 2d we cannot uh, show the swing of that door and we cannot open it and those things you cannot show it only top view how much we can see it okay on that only from the top view only this much only we can visible correct anybody having any doubt who asked me the doubt who asked me the doubt just now ma'am it was actually safia's doubt her uh, microphone no. was not working so okay, i okay. asked okay anybody having any doubt after the class also you can message me in the group no problem okay i will uh, clear you people all your doubts and all okay so till now you have any doubt to create a uh, 2d with the 3d like photoshop is a 2d software so in this software only we can create a how the 3d like how the 3d house model so exactly how it will look uh, before construction after the construction before doing the interior designing so we have to see like how we don't have any 3d things we don't know anything so before that in the 2d itself we can do it uh, 3d things right okay so i will go to the different option now i will save this file i will keep this file here itself anybody having any doubt i will come back no problem i'll explain uh, explain once again okay i'll keep it here itself i'll just okay my file is here where is my file yeah see which is jpg format i have saved it my file is here if you don't want we can cut this part also this is a living room okay so here is the master bedroom and the kitchen model okay Okay, one second. This kitchen model. I will make a group of this. So everything is grouped now. So this is here. Ma'am, how did you make the group? Can you explain it once again? Control G, Control G. So you have to select it like this. From Shift to press Shift to, and you have to select it how much ever you want. For example, I want see from here to here is my kitchen area. See Control G. That's all. You just made a group. See this much area, okay, only, whichever the area I have selected, huh? That much area only it will become group. Suppose you want to uh, remove the tiles of this, so that time you can add uh, some other tiles of this. See, I want to add this light color, so I will take the duplicate copy of this. Let me check how it will look. Okay, so I'll just add the duplicate of this, and I will add here. Okay. any of the light color so i will remove this group so like this it will come okay see it is a light color so both are looking light color itself means just remove it no problem you can check like however if i'll do something better than this something like that wooden tiles i can place it in stock placing this style okay so what are the tiles you want you can add it okay 
uh, any of the vitrified those kind of light color those things at all you can add it okay so like that so we have placed a different that is all up to your you people's visualization how the house model should come this is just an example for you people when we are learning the 3d things so that time we are learning everything very clearly no problem okay so i'll just save the file okay so now we'll go to the effects okay so you, you people have to do separate 3d folder inside that you have to keep everything okay so uh, somebody asked me that uh, how to create uh, poster designs with the any of the okay so before that we'll go to here image we have an option here adjustment okay so uh, these are the effects actually image effects uh, image adjustment we have an option here color balance okay C levels brightness contrast levels curves exposure vibrance so these are the effects any of the image which is uh, black and white to color color to black and white we can make it any of the image which is dark we can make it bright any of the images which is more bright so we can make it dark see this is if we will increase the brightness of this it will become like this only you have to apply this option suppose we have the image okay so we have an image which is very dark so that i want to make it bright okay where is the image yes this image which is dark here this areas and all so i will go to here just i'll take a duplicate copy of this and i'll go to here image adjustment brightness and contrast so here yeah it is looking bright okay so yeah full image it is looking bright otherwise you, you people know already uh, this pen tool so i will select only this much area i want to select only this hill area otherwise i want to select this much sky area it should be bright so again go to image adjustment any of the options you can use it curves okay any of the options you can use it just you have to bend it like this it has become more dark so if we'll take it upper side it will become little bright okay see what happened it looked like morning okay so yeah it has become like this so how much every area you want you can add increase the this thing okay got it now how much only this much area only i have selected so here this much area is looking dark and this area is looking bright okay so like that using any of the tools so only this much area i want to make it bright okay image adjustment levels so i'll go to here i'll just see yeah this is the area see it is which is more bright okay got it uh, you people are getting the difference right this area is dark and this area is very bright and he, here we can see see before it is not showing there is one stone over there you're not able to see what kind of things over here okay here it is looking more bright okay so like that we have to take a different different images which is dark or bright or any of the things okay so we can select that particular area and we can do it okay now this image is more bright so here you can go to here any of this thing so suppose i want to make it black and white okay can you see here there is an option called black and white see here this is completely the image will black and white okay here you people no need to worry like uh, it is no need to worry before here using all the tools and all okay here just you have to apply on the images directly no need to struggle actually just you have to take a duplicate copy of this and you can go to here image adjustment there is option called black and white see now it is black and white completely only some area you want to make it color means again you people know which is a tool eraser tool eraser tool 
I will select how much area I want. Only this area I want to make it color. Okay. So it is erasing but uh, that area is already not having any color. So I will take this color. This one. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise I will take some of the beautiful thing. So which is sky. Opacity is 10 percent. Yeah. 100 percent if will give means we will get the brighter sky. Only the sky is brighter. Other things are in black and white. Okay. Yeah, if you want only the slightly, you should do this option. I want all the assignment from you people. 3D also I want. Okay, see like this. Only, see, yeah, this much area is black and white. Other things are in color. Okay, so black and white to color, color to black and white. So like that, uh, I'll show you the different, different example. So you people know bridal things and all already you will uh, know. How to make the black and white to color, color to black and white. Okay. So like that, we have to take the different, different images with the different options. We have to use it. Okay. Anybody having any doubt with this tool? Yeah. Oh, good quality images we have to take. So I'll go to here, image adjustment. We have different, different options are there. So this is the invert option. This is the invert option where we can see. We can see it in the, uh, what is that? X-ray, X-ray kind of things. Okay, so this is the thing where we can see it. Before the cameras, we have uh, this negative, uh, this thing we will get it. Okay, here we have to make this kind of effects. Okay, so there we can use this option, invert option. Okay, this is an invert option. Okay, now not necessary this option. Okay, so you can try all these options. You can check it yourself, no problem. Okay, color balance. Color balance, any of the color corrections, you have to make it see purple color of this colors. Any of the particular image, you can set a particular area. You can select it and you can make it color balance of this. Only how much ever area you want, uh, you can select it and you can change the images like this. Image color, you can make it. Okay, so like that. Gradient map. We have gradient map. Okay, what already gradient is over. Just you have to apply on this, no problem. So more important is brightness and contrast. And uh, this curves, exposures, all are same only. Just give the effects. Just you have to apply and you have to do the changes of this thing. Okay. Then, and we have option called hue and saturations. Hue and saturation and black and white, both are same only. See hue and saturations also see here. Saturation, I will reduce it. See what happened. It will give, there's no color in this. See here it is bright color. And here it is no color here. So what you people have to do? You have to select with the pen tool. Pen tool, how much ever area you will select it. See only this much area I have selected. Okay. So control enter. I will go to here. Image adjustment. Hue and saturation. See what happened. Complete area is become dull. Okay. See this complete area has become dull. And this much area is become brighter okay i want this kind of assignment from you people i want the 3d assignment also and i want this kind of image effects okay see this also i want it okay anybody having any doubt so just apply all these options yourself okay you have any doubt you have to ask me okay all these options you have to apply it and uh, see this is also same thing only desaturate Hue and saturation, black and white, all these options, you will get a gray color. Okay. So, you will get a gray color options. Okay. So, I have already shown you people how to make the black and white. Hmm? You want to remove the color of this. Any bridal image from the background, you have to make the color blur. Any of the options, you have to use it. Not blur, that black and white options, you have to use it. That time you can use this option. 
okay anybody having any doubt with this effect anybody having any doubt shreya fatima maria anybody having any doubt rushanki kulsum all you people can listen my voice right yeah yes ma'am kulsum it's easy it's easy you can apply it okay but you should take a good image you have to take a good quality image then only it is possible otherwise if the image quality is not good resolution is not good then the image will become plus see this is a very bright image see which is having so many colors here so i will select how much ever area i want so only this much area i want to make it as a black and white see here i will select it and i will go to here black and white only you can give it black and white option see this much area is back, become black and white control neatly you have to select it neatly you have to select it so only this much area only it is become black and white okay so like that you have to select the particular area okay so you have to try all the options no problem okay slowly you can try all this option see we have to increase the color here see how, how wherever red color is there it is increasing over there wherever the yellow color see it is making yellow green yellow it is making more in the image okay just you have to change the option okay it is easy compared to before options and all okay i want to show you people one more important thing that is a miniature see miniature things i want to show you people just i'll go to file open and let me check this is the pepsi thing i have taken and somebody is sitting on that pepsi i have already cut it this image and i'll just make it small and so everybody will get confused uh, please let me know see like this see this kind of creative works you have to do okay so this kind of creative miniature things you have to do. you can take your own selfies and you can make this kind of things so you can take with the different different poses so you can make like a sitting here and there anywhere sitting poses you can take the control t just rotate yeah like this you can take the these are the miniatures drawing okay so you can add some background for this okay so like that uh, somebody jumping from this that also you can do it let us see whether it should match match for this okay so i'll go to this magic eraser too just i will yeah this is all easy like all the tools are over for you people okay how to cut the image crop the image you people are done very good job with the basic uh, tools and all so only the creativity is missing so what kind of thing we can do it okay what kind of thing like okay so this kind of miniature things we can do it okay any of the background okay so if i have to add the background for this let me check any suitable background for this okay so yeah any of the background i will take it okay so just control t so this is there somewhere on the road okay i'll bring bring it down just law open the law what happened yeah this it, which is having white background for this i'll go to magic eraser tool and just remove the background 
of this and I'll just uh, place this. See, you have to select the shift and here. See, shift, shift means it will select all the layers. If you press shift and left click. So, these four layers are selected. Then I will go to control G, group. So, now together I can make it down. Otherwise, I need to place it each and every layer. I need to select and I have to place it. Okay. So, like this miniatures, things and all you can make it. Otherwise, if you don't want uh, like that only, you can add some different background also. You can place it over there. Okay. So, these are the miniature things. So, same cutting options. What you people are used till now, polygonal laser tool are the same options only. But you people should be more creative. So, more whatever the things I have teached now, till now. So, you people are did work for that. Okay. You have to be more creative. Okay. So, more creative in the sense, what kind of extra work I can do it. Okay. See, we have so many miniature things are we, we have. So, you can select it like this and you can place it. Somebody sitting or standing on that. So, you have to think like uh, what kind of uh, things we can do it. Okay. So, that is totally your creativity. How much ever I can teach you people. But the thing is uh, you have to think it in your own way. Okay. So, I'll just uh, let us see whether uh, some of the images are not uh, suitable for the drawing. Okay. Yeah, let me check whether it is suitable for this or this thing. I'll just go to yeah, this other thing. Okay. Like this. Okay. Some more things you can add it for this only. Sliding from on the from the page. Okay, so those things uh, you can add it. Okay, somebody uh, taking you have to take your own photos like that. So before placing that, you have to uh, take your own photos holding the roses, something like which is nothing should be there in the hand, but you have to take your own photos, and we have to add the images like this. Okay. So, which is suitable for this, any of the images which is suitable for this sliding from this page. So, those are things and all you can do it here. Okay. So, these are the miniatures drawing. Okay. These are the miniatures. Okay. These are the miniature works. Okay. So, I will show you work how it will come. So, yeah. This is a miniature work. Okay. You have to take this kind of work. Okay, this is all your creativity. Okay, all your creativity. So, this image is there. You are, you are standing uh, down of this spot or somewhere sliding from this leaf. This is the all creative work. Otherwise, you are holding here and hanging on the leaf like that. Okay, this is all totally your creativity. Please try some of this kind of creativity work. Okay, so you people have to submit me the 3D and you have to do the... Uh, miniature also and you have to try this effect okay ask me anybody having any doubt Husna you have any doubt Aditi Anusha Lokesh Juveria anybody having any doubt no doubt ma'am ma okay ma'am you people will tell no doubt ma'am afterwards how to do ma'am ma'am I this. have a doubt yeah, tell me. Uh, so, ma'am, we have three assignments to do. Yes. Ah. One, we have to do the 3D room. The ah, 3D is very important. Visual. That is the main important. Uh, what I'm saying, uh, 3D is only the main thing you have to do. Yeah, tell me. Full soon. And then the next one, we have to use the effects, like all the effects FX. that are like, you yes. have to use and you have to make a, this thing. Black and and another one, Black we have to. Green. Okay, ma'am. And miniature. the other one we have to do the okay miniature one. Mini, okay, thank you. Miniature. Please uh, note it down. <clears throat> First one, you have to create a 3D house model in Photoshop. First, you have to create a 3D house model. 3D house model, otherwise the 3D house interior uh, from the top view. From the top view. Okay. So you have to practice that one. 
so you have to download it in the google 3d house uh, house plan 3d house plan from the top view you have to give it in the google 3d house plan this is not a interior we are not did completely that is just a house plan from the top view not from the front view or side view we are seeing from the top view okay from the top view you should give the thing okay so afterwards you have to make one folder so in that only you have to keep all the images okay all the images you have to keep and uh, you have to take all the images okay one second where is my 3d yeah so we have different different models are here okay so like that only we have to take the 3d afterwards you have to download all this sofa model you will get it with the white background okay uh, cabinet you will get with the white background tails you will get with the white background okay so like that only you have to so just you will get an idea like where we have to place the things where what is the main wall yeah, okay how the kitchens will be the same thing we have to create create it in the 3d okay so that's why we have to and we can easily create it in the photoshop easily 3d interior model house model we can easily do it in the photoshop also okay so we'll just to get to know the plan plan of this house model okay anybody having any doubt and miniature miniature things also you have to do this is all up to your creativity miniature things and all okay that is your creativity uh, these are the things you can take your own photos in your house and you can do it any of this pepsi bottle any of the things you can use it no problem uh, so anywhere okay so you can do it miniature drawings at all okay anybody and this the black and white effect you people know so here uh, how i shown here half of the images in black and white half of the images in the color so just you have to apply on the sceneries okay all clear everybody all doubts are cleared okay maria you have any doubt you have to no ma'am download it. just note it down you have any doubt if i am unable to send the video so that time you have to please note it down don't completely depend upon the video itself okay just note it down write it in the book 3d house model from the top view you have to download that images if you don't get the video okay so just note it on those points and i want the assignment okay tomorrow itself okay okay so next uh, i will go to i'll take some of the this image this you have to make one folder like this 3d inside that only you have to keep all the files and all okay okay so just uh, final effects i will show you people tomorrow class i will let you know uh, like what we pay, we can do it it okay so we have a filter here in that we have filter gallery if i'll go to the filter gallery we have multiple options are there this is also just you have to apply on any of the image look at here this is a filter gallery here 100 percent if i'll give uh, 50 percent then otherwise if i'll give it 12 percent like you can see complete image okay 50 percent like this or uh, 25 percent like this see here just you have to apply we have different different kinds of effects are there see this is a glass effect okay so these are the different different kinds of effects so how much ever area you can select only it will apply only that much area only you can so like that paint tool itself you can select how much ever you ever area you want uh, you can select only that much area okay so like that we have multiple options are there dark stroke sprayer stroke and the spatter okay all these options are there okay yeah diffuse glow glass effect like you can here increase and decrease the size of this see here okay you okay. can increase and decrease the see glass how it will look in the glass okay scenery will be like that yeah 
all these are the effects you can directly apply on any of the images stylize option is there and the texture options are there okay these are the you will get a painting kind of effects okay you will get a see these are the effects you can increase the texture size all these things you can make it with the textures okay so like that you can select how much ever area suppose i want only this much area only it should apply so then i will select only this much area filter in the filter gallery uh, let me check it will apply for everything yes so we have to control j we have to select in different area and filter gallery 25% any of the options it is showing like this only so if i will give it go to here just see only can you see everybody only middle of this area only it is applied see okay only middle of this area only which is applied blurred okay so you have to take different kind of images so on that you have to apply water kind of image so any of the images you can apply it okay so i'll take this image i'll take a duplicate copy of this okay so what i will do magic eraser tool just remove this area just removing everything just take a duplicate copy of this using next class i will tell you people you if you have any doubt other with the mobile itself you can ask me whatever the doubt you have okay just roughly i will cut it see now okay control enter I'll take a duplicate copy of this. Control J. So one more bangle is here down. So what I'll do? Control T. Flip vertical means only this much only I have to show the reflection. Okay. Yeah. Suppose this bangle is here. Okay. Now I'll place a bangle here. Okay, with the black background, I will add the black background. Control D, just add the black background. I drop it to I add this black background here. See now what I am doing here. Yeah, I will just give the opacity reduced okay i'll just reduce the opacity here which is 50 percent see it is look like there is a reflection on the glass okay for this i can add this filter effect in that we have an option of filter gallery see this kind of effect uh, glass effect yeah little bit little bit any of this kind of effect or this effect any of this effect you can add it let us see slightly, slightly it will look natural it is there you are keeping uh, something on the glass okay so we have to remove this background also so here we can place the same black background okay so we can see this image on the glass so how it will look okay lightly effect i have given if you want you can give more effect otherwise we have some more effects are here blur okay so blur effect is there see this much how much ever blur you want so that much blur and all you can give it okay so naturally how it should look okay so we cannot give like this how the sharp effect is here the same effect we cannot give it here okay so like that we have to use the effects these are the effects in photoshop we can do n number of works it is not limited thing only actually if photoshop is unlimited how much ever we will learn also it is uh, it will never get end 
okay so we can do n number of things in the photoshop okay photoshop is a software for everything we can do 3d 2d video editing in the higher version we have the video option also okay so like that we, we can do multiple things with the photoshop itself okay so this also you have to try all these options just you have to apply on this just you have to apply okay you have any doubt i will uh, clear those doubts and all okay so photoshop will never end okay so it will be like this you have to apply on different different images so this is the reflection effect this is a reflection kind of effect first what you have to do you have to cut how much ever the bangles you want to show it in the reflection only that much area only you have to cut and you have to take the duplicate copy of this okay you have to take the duplicate copy of this and you have to take the duplicate copy of this and you have to reduce the opacity okay anybody having the doubt i need to repeat this option anybody want shall i repeat this or uh, you people got to know this one yes ma'am okay you have to in the pen tool see pen tool only important for everything i'm using pen tool i'm not using any of the things see reflection only it is coming till here see i am selecting this one control j it is coming in a different layer now so if i keep it like this what happened okay usually reflection will come in the opposite means this part to this part only it will come here flip vertical see here correct like this only reflection will come always okay but sharp reflection will not come always right so what you have to do you have to take this already in different layer opacity here in the layers we have an option of opacity so i'll just give 50 percent yeah 50 percent it is reduced okay so 50 percent opacity i have given here in the filter go to the filter gallery and we have option here any of the glass effect any of this thing see it has become like this there is no uh, effects like this. see it will give you more it will be like this okay so this kind of there is no clear effect like that okay there is uh, you cannot see in the reflection uh, the same design of the bangle so i'll just reduce the distortion to only this much only okay should look natural say i have given but you can give the blur also i'll go to here blur in that any of the blur you can give it just to normal blur otherwise uh, go to here filter blur any of the blur you can blur more okay so little blur i have given uh, when you people are doing this option in your system you will get to know the effects actually properly so how much because i have reduced very uh, little little percentages only okay okay so what and all assignments you people have to do one person should tell me now yeah tell me one person what are the assignment we have to do Ma'am, we have to do the yeah. 3D ha. model. Ha, 3D model. Of the house and then we have to do, use the effects to create a black and white or like darken or lighten okay. or any of that. Or, and we have to make a miniature, miniature Mini type. Okay, photo. miniature drawing you have to do. Uh, 3D is uh, very must. Okay, always you should do that uh, because uh, that is very important for you people and uh, next one uh, this effects and all you have to try black and white to color color to black and white okay and the filter option also you can try this is just effects you have to add it on any of the images particular area you can select it and you can apply it okay any uh, you have any doubt uh, okay ask me uh, ma'am uh tell me uh, i might not be able to submit all the assignments tomorrow because i think there's some problem with my photoshop so i'll okay. have to like 
it and reinstall it again. Uh, so I'll have to do it. Okay. If not tomorrow, so, I'll submit it. Yeah, yeah, you only sent it me a message, right? Yeah, yeah. you are not able to. So uh, it is really, you cannot do reinstallation of the software. I'll try. Actually, I think I'll go to another website and I'll look how, on YouTube how to install the software. Maybe yeah. I made some mistake while installing it. Yeah. So I'll have to go Just through that process. Check in the C drive if the software is already re already there in your system. Just uninstall it. Then once okay. again, you just reinstall it like that. Okay. okay. Please try to do it today itself if possible. Okay. okay. These are very important assignments. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anybody having any doubts?